Welcome to this video in which we solve for the tensions in each of the members of a truss by using the method of joints. The truss that we will solve is right here. Uh, it uh, is designed so that it has um, what, seven members and five joints. Each member is one meter long, which means that each of the uh, angles here in the truss. Every angle in the truss is 60 degrees. So our truss is made out of equilateral triangles. And uh, let's suppose that we have a load at the very center of the truss of one kilonewton. So given the size of the members and the load, this would be like a small footbridge with a fairly chubby person standing on the middle or in the middle of the bridge. So what, again, what we want to do is find the tensions in each of the members. So what we'll do is begin by finding a free or writing down a free body diagram of the whole truss, and we'll use this free body diagram of the whole truss to find the reaction forces, and then uh, we'll uh, go joint by joint through the truss to find the tension in each of the members of the truss. So let's begin by drawing the free body diagram. Okay, uh, we have approximately drawn at least our truss that looks like this, made out of equilateral triangles. We have joints everywhere the members meet. And uh, let's label the members. We'll start here as A, B, C, D, and E. And then we have the following uh, reaction forces. Uh, on the left, we have a a pin joint, so basically our entire truss is free to rotate. Um, this will give us an F A X. Oh, whoops! This will give us an F A Y. Don't know what happened there. F A X, and then here we have an F E Y. Okay. And at the center of the truss, we have a one kilonewton load. And our, again, each of the members of the truss is one meter long. Okay, so um, again, let's look at the entire truss first to find these uh, reaction loads, or I'm sorry, reaction forces. So um, if we look in the x direction, Uh, the only force in the x-direction is Fax, and that's equal to zero. So there's basically nothing pushing the truss uh, either to the right or the left. And uh, next, let's look at the moment about A. Summation of the moments about A is equal to zero. Okay, we'll choose A because we have two forces going through A, and so if we choose A uh, about which to compute the moment, then uh, it makes life a little easier. We have only two forces we need to look at. So we have one kilonewton uh, going downwards with a moment arm of one meter. So uh, this is going clockwise, so we'll have minus one kilonewton times one meter plus Fey times 2 meters. Okay, this is a force here acts through a moment arm of length 2 meters. And this is equal to 0. And once we solve this for Fey, we get that Fey is equal to 500 newtons. Okay. 
So let's see, I guess we should be putting these down as we get them. FAX is 0 newtons. Uh, FEY is uh, 500 newtons. And let's see, let's use then um, the sum of the forces in the y direction is equal to 0. We'll clear off some space to do this. So the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to 0. And we have FAY minus 1 kilonewton plus FEY is equal to 0. We know that FEY, this guy is minus 500 newtons. Um, no, that should be 500 newtons. This is an arrow not a negative sign. Okay, Something was going to be terribly wrong there. We can solve this then for FAY to get FAY is equal to 500 newtons. Okay, So FAY is 500 newtons as well. Okay, so what this tells us is the uh, there is no horizontal force and the load of the bridge of one, kil on, of one kilonewton is equally distributed between the left and the right support. So um, with that then we can uh, now just go through the truss joint by joint to uh, figure out what the loads, uh, the tension in each of the members are. And just as a reminder uh, as we go through this um, we assume that at, at the joints uh, that are put together by pins, uh, there's no friction at any of the pins. So members are free to rotate any way they want to at joints. And that the members themselves are weightless. So you'll notice that we didn't uh, take into account the weight of any members as we were uh, looking at the bridge as a whole. Um, in other words, we're assuming that their weight is negligible to the load placed on the bridge. Okay, so let's look then at pin A. Let's go to pin... Okay, here we've got a, an empty um, screen, so let's put up pin A. Pin A, we had this force F A Y. We have a force to the right which is T A C and a force up and to the right which is T A B and because I have equilateral triangles all of my angles here are 60 degrees. Okay so um, at these pins, we can only apply uh, the sum of the forces in the x direction is zero and the sum of the forces in the y direction is zero uh, because these are points and so we can't look at moments about points. So um, I will have components of TAB. I'll have a horizontal component here. This is TAB cosine of 60 degrees, and I'll have a vertical component. This guy is TAB sine of 60 degrees. And um, I won't go through this in this sort of detail in the rest of these joints, but just to make sure it's clear, I've got an angle of 60 degrees here. I've got TAB on the hypotenuse, so this part here is given by TAB times the cosine of 60, and this component here is given by TAB times the sine of 60. Okay, and we'll be doing this a lot um, as we go through this free body diet or through each of the pins. So hopefully, um, I'll make the assumption that you understand how we're doing this and why we're doing this. So let's uh, sum in the x direction. And in the x direction we have um, TAB cosine 60 degrees plus 
TAC is equal to 0. And if we sum then in the y direction, we have TAB sine of 60 degrees plus FAY is equal to 0. And remember, we've already computed FAY. So we know this guy here is 500 newtons. Uh, so we can uh, solve for TAB. So TAB will be equal to minus 500 newtons divided by the sine of 60 degrees, which if we work that out, we get um, minus 577.4 newtons. Okay, so if you get a negative sign as a tension, don't worry. What it actually means is that the member you're looking at is in compression, not tension. So taking this number, plugging it in here, and solving for TAC, we find that TAC is going to be um, 577.4 newtons times cosine of 60 degrees which if you work out uh, cosine of 60 degrees is one half so this will be 288.7 newtons okay so we now have uh, TAB and TAC let's go put these on our picture uh, let's see we have uh, TAB and TAC. We have TAB. This is um, minus 577.4 newtons. And uh, TAC is 288.7 newtons. Okay. Okay, so um, it looks like we're out of time for part one. In part two, we'll continue on with joint B.